Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special video showcase we're going to once again be looking at a vintage generation 1 toy catalogue and checklist. This time it's the turn of the Japanese 1986 one and the reason why this is interesting and why I do these is just to show you the differences between how the toy lines were released in different continents. So in this particular fly when we fold it out you won't see the deluxe insecticons, you won't see Jetfire or Shockwave but you will see some of the very incredible Japanese watches that they had. Now as we fold this out I'm going to do my very best I suppose to discuss a few things on here as well and point out maybe a few mistakes if we can see them. Okay obviously I can't read the language either unfortunately but we'll start off here with this very small mini bot selection and that again is because not all of the mini bots were released in major retail in Japan. For the triple changes we can see there as normal all at the bottom We've got the cassettes there as well. Um, it's interesting that they look exactly the same colour, even when you've got it in hand. Metroplex looks phenomenal, obviously. We've got the Dinobots across the bottom, Blaster and Perceptor, and then we've got the Scramble City logo. For those of you who don't know, in Japan, they pretty much had their own run of cartoons, um, and they did eventually choose to completely disregard what happened with Sunbow at the end of season four, but they also had a cartoon called Scramble City, and it brought together pretty much most of these characters, even though it mainly referred to the combiners and the fact that you could scramble the limbs. Again, there is the own their own cartoons, called Scramble City. And Dinobots are all there at the bottom. They were all released. Ultra Magnus was of course released. Rodimus Prime. Um, Hot Rod is there with looks like slightly different colors on him. Retgar Cup and Blur. So we've got the movie bots and we've got the two first Autobot Scramble City combiners, which are of course Superior and Defensor. Here is, let's bring this up just so you can see this a bit closer. So there's a very interesting Japanese board game, Scramble City board game. And then we've got these phenomenal watches. To be honest, I've actually found a vid advert of this and put it on this channel. If you want to see the advert with them on, it's so cool. The characters just, as I say, pop up. So the huge, obviously, emission on here will be, of course, Jetfire. And they haven't got Convoy either. So no Optimus Primes on this. If we turn it over, there is the actual checklist. And for those of you who are unaware, Cybertron was the Japanese word for Autobots. So they were known as the Cybertrons. And Destron is the word for Decepticons. You'll also notice just how many more Autobots there were, or Cybertron, shall we say. And that is believed to be because in Japanese culture, they always sort of favor the hero. So they released more of the Autobots. So on to the triple changes. They're all as normal in the normal colors. We've got Soundwave. We've got a selection of a few of the cassettes. We've got Predator King and Devastator, of course. As I say, no deluxe Insecticons and indeed none of the normal ones at the moment. That's probably because they were also available uh, as mail away as well at a later point in Japan. Bruticus and Menasaur were, of course, the main two from Scramble City. And Metroplex's nemesis, again from the Scramble City cartoons as well, was Trypticon. There's the combining teams at the bottom. And then we've got Scourge and Cyclonus. The omission of Dirge is because, again, he was a mail away exclusive as well. So you won't find one of him, I don't believe anyway, please correct me if I'm wrong, in a standard Takara box. So as you can see, quite a bit smaller than the Hasbro um, USA 1986 catalog. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed looking at it and have a look at the differences. There's many, many more of these in their own playlist on this channel. Thanks for watching. Please correct me if I'm wrong on anything. I'd love to be corrected uh, because, again, I just think it helps us all improve our own knowledge when regarding these toys. Thanks again for watching, guys. Take care. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.